Back live with us tonight, Jackie on In Focus, and thanks uh, for staying on. Now, earlier last week, the multi-party coalition technical team comprising of delegates from the Democratic Alliance, Action SA, Inkata Freedom Party, African Christian Democratic Party, and the Freedom Front Plus met to discuss the way forward on the current political state of coalition government in Egurulene. Spokesperson of the multi-party coalition, Sianda Makubo, joins us now to discuss their way forward. Sianda, good to have you with us, and thank you very much uh, for your time this evening. In anticipation uh, of a motion of no confidence in Mayor Tanya Campbell, uh, some decisions have been taken by the multi-party coalition. That is being to uh, expel, I suppose, uh, the uh, members of the COPE as well as that of Patriotic Alliance. H how do you anticipate untrustworthiness? I mean, don't you wait for people to be untrustworthy first before you act on them? Thank you. Uh, good evening, Tabo, to, to you and to the viewers at home. Um, yeah, so delegates from the multi-party coalition um, met last week, emanating from developments from the city of Johannesburg coalition um, agreement being um, broken by certain uh, political parties. And um, to be specific, it relates to the Congress of the People and Patriotic Alliance. And obviously, the coalition agreements are made up with individual municipalities. So this relates to the city of Ikuruleni, which unfortunately um, the events from the city of Johannesburg um, impacted Ikuruleni. Now, this is how they impact the city of Ikuruleni. We had um, in a coalition agreement in the city of Ikuruleni, the Patriotic Alliance being welcomed early this year in February. And the agreement was that we would then um, give them two MMC positions that is for the MMC of Human Settlements and Health and Social Development, in exchange that the coalition agreement in Johannesburg will be strengthened and also strengthening the coalition agreement in Kuleni. The events of the city of Johannesburg meant that the terms and conditions with the binding for the city of Johannesburg meant that Kuleni, um coalition agreement falls away because that was the agreement with the Patriotic Alliance. And with regards with the Congress of the People, COPE earlier this year, um, around April, suspended their councillor and replaced them with someone else. The COPE MMC was uh, for infrastructure, which meant then there was a vacancy in the, in the COPE infrastructure position. And due to the um, infighting and instability of the Congress of the People, the multi-party coalition at a national level also took a decision to remove them as a coalition partner, which is why we are where we are right now. And MMCs um, being redeployed from the mayoral committee in replacement of new MMCs. Yeah, but uh, 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 is the application of this not inconsistent? For example, Action SA has expressed that they are no longer in coalition in the city of Johannesburg, but they are still in coalition elsewhere, in Eguruleni and uh, in, in, in Tswane. So yeah. uh, how, 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 how do you take the behavior of councillors in the Joburg Council and extend it to Ekuruleni and, 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 and therefore to other metros as well. What, what, what's very important with coalition agreements, Tabo, and it's, it's, it's a very new thing in our political landscape in the country, but what's very important is that these coalition agreements were entered into with individual municipalities in mind. So, for instance, the makeup of the coalition agreement in Johannesburg, or Twain for that matter, does not um, translate exactly to the coalition agreement to that of the city of Ekuruleni. The dynamics are not the same. The numbers are not totally not the same. The one in Ekulini is rather more precarious because we do have two opposition parties um, who can form a government without the current um, coalition, uh, multi-party coalition government. Ekulini is a minority government, and 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 so it's very important that um, viewers at home understand that coalition agreements not uh, do not bind from city to city. They are different due to the dynamics going to that municipality. So are the other parties here falling uh, to the pressure of the Democratic Alliance? Because uh, Patriotic Alliance says, well, what happened is that uh, DA leader, Helen Zilla, actually forced the other parties to institute disciplinary procedures against their members. And just because these two parties refused to do that, they are now being expelled from the bloc. The, the, the current situation with the city of Ekuleni was, was linked to Johannesburg because the numbers had not been on our side. We are a minority government in the city of Ekuleni. And a national coalition a committee 
agreed that we would welcome the Patriotic Alliance, who was requesting to join in the coalition, but on condition that the votes translate to a majority government in the city of Johannesburg. And that is how the Patriotic Alliance was welcomed into the coalition in Ukulele. So as soon as the events changed in the city of Johannesburg, it meant that which was emanating from the coalition agreement to welcome the Patriotic Alliance earlier this year affected and impacted on the coalition agree- arrangement in the city of Ukulele. Hence, the Patriotic Alliance has since been removed from um, the multi-party coalition in Ukulele. Yeah. So uh, are you saying the coalition failed to engage with the Patriotic Alliance and convince them to stay in the coalition? Because, because of, of uh, the agreement which was reached in February, um, what would then happen is that at a Negrulin local level, um, the parties would have to renegotiate. Um, so that which was entered into in February has now since fallen away. It can be reviewed. The Patriotic Alliance can approach the multi-party coalition if they so wish to join the arrangement or the coalition in a coalition. And this is very important. So what happens in Johannesburg or what happens in Swahili does not impact the city of Ekulim. But remember that this coalition agreement was entered into binding that the Patriotic Alliance supports the coalition government in Johannesburg. And since that did not transpire, it means that that agreement falls away, which was entered into February. Of course, this does not close the door for the Patriotic Alliance to approach us at a local level in Ekulini so that we try to find um, a means of welcoming, back, of welcoming them back into the coalition on a new and separate agreement. Yeah, so uh, uh, let me understand you clearly. So you're saying they are being expelled from the block in Ekurulini. Uh, it doesn't mean what you're doing mm-hmm. there now applies to what is happening in Tswana. So they could still be in the block in Tswana as we speak. Precisely. So, so, so the agreement um, with the Patriotic Alliance, and we know that Action SA had announced that they're not in agreement, they're not in a coalition in um, the city of Johannesburg, for instance. This does not impact Twani, or does not, uh, it certainly does not impact um, a ruling. So, if the Patriotic Alliance would like to engage um, in, in Twani, that's certainly open, that they can do that there at their own expense. If they so wish to still form a coalition government in a ruling, a new certain agreement with those new dynamics owing to the landscape that we find ourselves yeah. in would have to be negotiated and entered into for a new agreement. So those new dynamics, does that mean that the multi-party coalition in Eguruleni is, is now poising itself to be in opposition? Because those numbers just don't, don't, don't add up. Look, Tabo and, and the residents um, of Eguruleni and viewers at home, this has always been a minority government from the set go. Um, we, we understood it that it, being, it is a minority government from, from December when the government was formed. We have for the past um, 10 to 11 months uh, governed this, uh, this administration through a minority government. And on a vote-by-vote basis have engaged other political parties and council where motions are concerned, where budgets are concerned, and where the ITPs are concerned. So we have done that exercise. Um, and the reality is that we are a minority government and that all political parties and council can come together tomorrow to form a new government. That is the reality we find ourselves in. But be that as it may, this multi-party coalition in the city of Ekulim has since demonstrated that through negotiation and cooperation with other political parties and council, we have and continue to govern the city of Ekulim with the current dynamics that we have. Look, the, the, the expulsion of uh, COPE and Patriotic Alliance does indeed further make us more a minority government than we were a week ago. That is the reality that we find ourselves in, but the reality is that we've always been a minority government. Yeah, so in other words, I mean, let's be more succinct here. The motion of no confidence against Mayor Tanya Campbell that is expected to be uh, tabled, I think, this week, you're, you're, you're seeing no prospect of success in that. In fact, you're seeing the motion being successful. Uh, you, you, you're seeing no prospect of success in opposing that motion of, of no confidence. Look, Tabo, we are hearing through media reports and certainly through corridors that there is a vote of no confidence emanating. That is not um, the reality that we find ourselves in. There is no vote of no confidence coming through. There hasn't been anything tabled through the Speaker's office. Um, we are continuing to govern in the city of Ekuleni for the betterment of our residents. Um, should a vote of no confidence come through um, whatever passage that it finds itself in, we will um, accept 
um, whatever outcome that council votes. But what we are saying as this um, administration, who have been administered since um, last year, December, we have always been a minority government. We, that is the reality that we accept. And should a vote of no confidence come, it would have been reflective of council, council's composition as it currently stands. We appreciate your time. Thanks so much uh, for coming on. Sianda Makubo, who speaks uh, for the Ekuruleni Multi-Party Coalition uh, Government, also a uh, member of uh, Action South Africa.